yes. Okay, hello guys. I just went to grab my oil outside. I put it in the sun so the coconut stays nice and liquidy. Here's our six battery capacitors. This is for the Q6. In the meantime, these are warming up, so we just plug them in. Now these are just freshly done. I'm just gonna spray some oil on them anyway. At the end, we're gonna do it again anyway, so. Just a little bit, just because. I'm showing you how I'm doing it this wet as well. But some people are concerned drying and all that, so you can dry it. Did you dip those in ash as well? I didn't see that, or oh, maybe I missed it. Yes, every one I did, I dipped them in ash first, everything. So once I finished putting my capacitors and I connected them all, I dipped them into the ash mix water and then I put them, set them in the plate. So then I put them on the side. Now okay. we're gonna, now we're gonna hook up our gravitational magnetic coil. So here we're ready. So for the ones that do not know, there are blueprints out there for that and we're gonna we put them on the, on the site as well. So, so we have our, okay, your longest wire will be your gravitational, one that feeds in and comes out that holds it into this shape. We're gonna just position it onto your left side, on your left hand. And same with the big one too. So those two wires, we're gonna just feed them up. We're just gonna- Peppy, try it. to hold, Peppy. Try to hold it a little more steady. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Pepe. I, I missed that. I was, I was on the other page looking at the diagram. Okay. Have your diagram. So here's your gravitational, the gravitational magnetical inner coil. That's the little one, right? That's the little one. Okay. On, on one end, you're going to have the longer gravitational line. That's the one that fed inside it to itself so we can create this uh, circle, right? That's the, that's the snake, is it? It's the snake, yes. So we have this one cord right here. This is your magnetical. Are we all there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, there it is. So now, the second, and we're going to hold it on your left hand is the long gravitational wire, okay? Because while you're watching me, it's gonna see, you're going to see it on the right hand. So on your left hand, holding it, it'll be on your left hand. So position it that way, and you position the, in, the outer coil the same way. Here's the gravitational, the one that fed into it. So it's all on the left. Separate your wires nice. Uh, position all, check your gravitationals where they are so you can see them. There's a gravitational inner on each end. There's, here's a gravitational. Actually, I'm going to pin myself because I can't see. Okay, here it is. So we have, there's a gravitational. Here's your outer magnetical. Here's your magnetical. And the long one is a gravitational. Keep it on your left hand so you don't get confused. Same with the small one, the inner coil. We have our long gravitational on the left hand the magnetical then we have the magnetical on the outer on the other end and the gravitational see that hey peppy can i ask a question yes for some reason i'm thinking there should be five wires i only see four if yeah. each coil um four. say again there's only four well, you got the center one. That's that's one that comes out, right? That's part each, of the one. Each coil should have two leads. For some reason, I'm missing something, but go ahead. Yeah. Just let's... Uh, your gravity... Okay. Peppy, because I had yeah. a problem. I had no wire inside. Like David said, I know what, what he's up to. Um, so the fifth one, which you're asking about, David, is the one which is going all over the coils. Yeah, it's going right round the coil. It round, round the coil, so it's going out on the other side. That's why we've got only four. 
and we hold it on the left hand side the same way how we holding the smaller one as well on the left hand side is the one which is going outside yeah that's the snake yes yeah. so, so your that, gravitational wire okay so you have two gravitational okay i have to pin myself uh we have two gravitationals we have a gravitational in here and a magnetical okay they slide into each other the gravitational has a longer wire because it's doubled itself so you can wrap it in like this and then it pulls out that same wire which is the same wire so that's why you have four the fifth is actually looks like there's five but it's four so your fifth and your fourth would be one uh, do you want me to dismantle this to show? I could that may that may be helpful. Okay, let's just dismantle this. I am gonna do a video on this to make one, so but I will dismantle it here a second. Okay, here's a gravitational, okay? This is a 144 turn gravitational. And see the tail, it's pretty long. Magnetical. It's a one in gravitational. This is the inner coil of the gravitational. All the gravitational have this, okay? This is 144 turns gravitational. And you leave the tail long enough, the size would be one and a half of itself. You see how long it is? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, because this is going to turn in, so you need that length to pull it in. Now this is your 144 gravitational. It's going to go inside your 144 magnetical this is your outer coil see and the ends are more shorter okay yeah but, but the gravitational is longer okay so the snake the snake we need that snake so now we're gonna we're gonna just slide it right in okay Go nice and slow so it doesn't blur them. There it is. Okay. So on one end you have a, this long piece, this long gravitational. So this is your outer coil, the 144 that has a gravitational and magnetical. Yep. Okay. Now. Can you address the clockwise and counterclockwise? The, it doesn't matter. Okay. Any way you want to put it in. Now, watch how I put it in. I'm putting it right inside it. Go nice and slow. I need this length so it can turn into itself, so I can pull it. Okay, yeah, that clears it up, Peppy. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. You're very welcome. There, I am going to do a video because there are many out there that don't know this. They just have the capacitor. I think, I think it's the most complicated part of the lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just, uh, hold on, guys. This is slipping out on me. It's probably the concern that you want to get it right more than anything else. Because yeah. <laughs> I dismantled this three, four times. <laughs> <laughs> and I already bent them all a bit here and there. So actually, I'm going to put this on top of it so it doesn't slide out there. Now, when you're feeding that through, if you just like kind of do a... Um, uh, a bend on the end of the wire I would imagine it would slide through eat more easily because it wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't get snagged 
A very it's small well. bend. It's just because, okay, here it's coming out. The only reason, because I smantled it so many times that uh, to show that it, I bent all the wires so they fit inside each other. But when you have it freshly done, it'll just go nice and smooth. So here's the wire coming out on the other end. On our left side. On the left side, or if, unless you're pulling on the right side, then it'll come on this side. It's gonna come out on one end. So I showed you both sides. And you just pull it, and it tightens up. And now that it's pulled, just slightly bend it to the side, and it holds, okay? And then you can just give it a nice round shape, okay? So here's your magnetical, one, two. Uh, here's your gravitational, magnetical, magnetical, gravitational. So you got one, two, three, four, okay? okay another question, Pepe. Does it matter which end of that coil uh, that, uh, that you leave long? Could you, can you use it from the other end and it'd be just as, as, as effective? You can, you can slide it in the other way or you can slide it up the other way. It's going to have to go in one way anyway, so. It's no, the, I meant, it's I meant like, let's, just, let's just say if I had left the wire long on the other end of, of, of the one you're showing us, would that work just as well? Yes. Thank you. But you won't leave it long on the other side because, well, you can, but... Uh, what, It'll be in the way from your drill when you're winding it. So when you wind it and you, you count it first before you cut it, get your numbers that you want, and then measure the length of your, your winding that you did and double it. Or you can do one and a half its size. And that's the length you leave for the gravitational. And then you cut it. Because you're going to need right. that to wrap it in. Yeah, I understand. I got it. Yeah. Thank you, Pepe. Pepe, I've got a question. I've got two long, uh, those wires, wires which are going out from the coils, okay? I've okay. got all of them properly, uh, which are going through the coils. So now I need only length for this, how much I need to leave it. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to wire it first, okay? Uh, but you've got uh, short ones and I've got a really long ones, you see? That's okay. You can, uh, you, you'll, you, you keep yours long, don't worry, I'll show you. Ah, okay. I might have to add mine, because I was doing something different with these designs before I did the cube, so I already had them cut, and, uh, but I will show you. So you can position it inside, okay. Now you need your gravitational on the left, make sure they're all centered on the left, because you can get confused here. The inner coil and your outer coil, the same wires going in the same directions, and we're just gonna slide it in. Okay, so now we have a crisscross. And we're gonna, now the long one, your inner coil, the small coil, the long gravitational one, is gonna hook up to the outer coil of the gravitational, of the right side. Okay, not the left, the right side of it. Say that again, long gravitational. Okay, so your left, there we go. So your- I've lost it. That's probably confusing for them, that one right now. Uh, we don't have another one, do we, on hand? Mm. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll go nice and slow, don't worry, okay? Uh, there we go. That makes sense. So, so, okay, your black, your black is your gravitational, the one that's inside with the long wire, and the red is your magnetical. Can you guys see this on the screen? Are you, are you working on the... On the small coil? We can see that. Yeah, okay, we're gonna work on both, uh, David. Right. So we need both. So there's two, uh, there's a magnetic, gra two magnetical gravitational coil. One is smaller and one is bigger. Yeah. Okay, so the, re the red one, the red line around 
is the magnetical. The black one is the gravitational. The gravitational is the long wire we were just explaining right now. Okay? Right. So keep this long one, the long gravitational on your left hand. Okay? Yeah. And I'll pin myself so I can see. Okay, so here's the magnet, here's the gravitational. Okay. Yeah. Now grab your inner coil and position on the left hand as well that gravitational long wire. So on your left hand, not mine in the screen. So okay. two snakes are on the on the left hand. Yeah, see, there's an inner coil. Each one of these has a gravitational magnetical, each one. So you got a small, you got a 90 and you got a four, 144 or whatever numbers you guys have. Yep. There's one smaller one's bigger. So the small one, the small gravitational from the small one, the gravitational, the long one that extends out like the snake that we did yep. is going to hook up to the right side of the gravitational 